All right, guys, hope everybody's well today. I thought I would do a quick video about um, Gaia GPS. I've had a bunch of calls and, video and uh, you know, emails and stuff asking me what do we do to navigate on our little adventures. So I thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's make a quick video. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Um, if you have an Android, Gaia is a GPS app for Android or iPhone. And um, it works offline, so you could actually make it work, um, you know, with, with uh, your cell phone in airplane mode. So let's go to the Play Store, Apple Store, and type in Gaia GPS. And it's going to bring it up, download it. Now, there's a paid version and there's a free version. Um, I used the free version for two years, year and a half, and now I've, I've, there's some cool things that I'll show you about why you might want to, you know, use the, the paid version. It, you can or you can, it's totally up to you. But, uh, I guess the best way to do this is go ahead and disclose that I'm kind of a rookie at it, even though I have been using it for years, it's a learning curve to it. So, so I, I can... If you could send me the coordinates or, or a pinpoint and hide something in the woods, I think Cody and I have been using it long enough now to find it. So I thought, you know, I'm good enough with it to where I can get people where they need to go. I'm going to share with, I've had a ton of people email me and ask me to do a little video on how to use it and, and uh, why I use it. So let's do this. Let's go over the buttons at the top. They're going to be some of the most important buttons. Then we'll make a route. I'll show you how to make a route and, and find something and how to navigate to it. And if we got time, I'll show you some other cool features. Okay, so this top left search button, uh, magnifying glass, let's click on that. That's going to be, you can enter latitude to longitude. You could enter Niagara Falls, uh, Grand Canyon, redwood forest whatever you want to enter there <clears throat> and it's going to bring it up okay it doesn't matter it's it's probably going to be in there so that's that um okay this next um little box with the arrows pointing outwards let's click on that that basically is just going to make the entire screen the gps if you notice we can and it gets rid of those buttons at the top we can just click back and forth and you see that okay all right this next third from the left target looking button right here that says show location is going to be the single most important button to me the way I use Gaia on the on the entire app. So if you notice, you can pretty much drag this map anywhere you want right now and you're going to move with it. The air is going to stay right where you are and you're going to you know, you could go all the way to California or whatever you want to do, zoom in or out, doesn't matter. And um, by the way, all this stuff that you see here is things that people email me um, and, and routes that I've made. This is uh, this is the Smoky Mountain 500. But anyway, all right, so let's get back to that button. Okay, this, and by the way, zooming in and out is just pinch and zoom drag and drop whatever you want to do it's just like any kind of app on a phone all right so let's click this show location once if we click that once and and highlight it we're gonna move the arrow is gonna move with the map now i know you can't see me right now but you see the arrow turning i'm turning in the room okay and oh boy it's fixing to pour rain hopefully you can still hear me and <laughs> we've got a rainy weekend guys all right Let's go up there to that show show location and click it one more time. And this is the way that I use Gaia. The two arrows look like an hourglass. I call that an hourglass. When we turn now or walk or move, the map is going to turn. And we're going to point ourselves the same direction. To me, that's kind of, if you think about it, how Google Maps works and how Garmin and TomToms work, that's, that's to me the best way to go about doing it. And so remember... To always, when you get ready to start navigating, make sure that your hourglasses are show. If you're going to use it like me, I'm not telling you that's how to do it, but that's just how I've found it's the best way to do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can hear that rain. I'll just talk louder. All right. So, this, the, the fourth button. Oh, wow. I think that's hail. So the fourth button from the left is going to be this 
circle with a positive sign that says create. I never use this, but let's click it. We can record tracks, add waypoints, create areas, create routes. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that, but I don't use that particular way to do it. So, uh, I, I do it a completely different way from that. And uh, I just wanted to make sure my video is still recording. Okay, I'm just using a screen recorder today. Now, these layers to the far right here uh, are going to be, so this Gaia Topo is going to be your free when you download it. This is what you're going to get free. And the rest of these here are going to be paid. Now, there are some that are free, like the satellite one. I think there's some different ones that you can get that are free. Um, this my, I'll go ahead and tell you about them, though. If you want to pay $20 or $30 a year, they do sales all the time on holidays, uh, then you can get just about anything. I mean, you can tell when it's going to, where the snow is. This guy, a winner, will tell you literally where, where snow is. U.S. Forestry Service. This will literally tell you who owns the land that you're on currently. It's really, really where Gaia shines, guys. Okay, so let's say I really like mines and gold, gold mines and ruby mines. So let's put that up there. Okay, and you want to put it in where visible is. And uh, let's move it down. So uh, the position that the layer is in is going to see, is going to tell you how much is shown of it. And you can select how transparent you want that to be by sliding this. Okay, so the mines in minerals will be a great way for me to show you how to navigate okay so let's just say that we're on our bike and we want to get somewhere let's say we want to find a gold mine so maybe let's see if we can I've already made one earlier doing a video that actually quit on me for some reason so let's pick this one right here here's a mine let's click on it in Piedmont it's gonna be called the Piedmont dredge here's something pretty cool this thing will tell you absolutely anything you want to know about it um, who owns it you know when it started you can click on the government website if you've got a service it tells you who owns it Piedmont dredge is the name of the site the longitude and latitude what it is okay we won't get really into that but let's say man I really want to go look at that that is cool. How do we get there? Okay. Very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to just touch the screen. Hold it down. Long hold it. And that's going to bring up um, this little circle here. You can literally move that circle anywhere you want once it's there. Let's put it on that mine. And let's click the edit button here. That's this little circle. And we want to name the waypoint. Let's name it, uh, let's say, Cool, whoops, Cool Mine to Find. That's what we're going to call it. Click Save, then go up in this top right corner where it says Create Route and click Save again. Okay, so now we have a waypoint that's called Cool Mine to Find. Now, we're going to find where we are currently. We're, we're going to be where the blue arrow is, and we want to go to that cool mine. Now, Gaia will pick the quickest route for you, or you can actually pick what kind of route you would like to take to get there. Now, to me, the easiest way to do that is to get near where you are and long hold again. Okay, now... As you see, you want to get where you're going on the same screen as where you just clicked. And we can drag over there. Long hold again. And go to the top and long hold again. And it is going to make your route and tell you about it. And it's going to do it, basically going to do it uh, maybe the quickest or, you know, that you, I've actually got bicycle selected, which I think is really nice because it keeps you off of the main road. 
Uh, down here you can select however, you know, driving, cycling, hiking. I like to keep it on cycling for doing motorcycles. Now, if you don't like that route, no big deal. You could actually move that route anywhere you want. You're like, you know what, I would rather go, so long hold in the center, I'd rather go this way. It's going to pick it for you. You know, it's like, well, no, I'd rather take this southern route. It's freezing today. I want to go as low as I can. It's going to pick it for you. And that's going to be basically the very best, simplest way I've found to navigate. Now, if you've got a map that you want to pick out, say you bought a Transamerica Trail map, the paper map, and you want to copy it onto that, then all you do is lay the map beside you and drag and drop and find. And that's the easiest way to do it there is now here's the cool thing we're going to click save and we're going to click i like to do high resolution and we're going to edit the route name we're going to call that route to piedmont mine okay all there is to it we're going to click save now it's going to download that entire map. Now you can get there if you've got zero cell phone towers within 2 million miles of you. It'll still get you there. That's what's super cool about it. Let's click on, just find a little spot along the route. Click the route. And there it is. We can click info. It's going to say, okay, you got 22.9 miles to me to get to that mine. Now, my good riding buddy. Let's say he's got to work till 4 o'clock, and I'm like, dude, I'm going to be up there checking that mine out. you got to come look at it. Well, I don't know how to get there. All you do is click share. It's gonna, If he's got Gaia downloaded onto his phone, all I have to do is, is click his, uh, however I like to get in touch with him. I usually get in touch with him Facebook Messenger. It's going to send him a, a, um, a link to click, and bam, it's going to give him the route to get there. And that's just, that's exactly how it's done. That's that easy. So um, I hope that really helps you guys know. I'm going to make sure my video is still recording. Yep. Um, I hope that helps you guys. If I, I hope I explained that easy enough. If I didn't, let me know. Let's do it one more time just so you guys know. Uh, okay, here's a cool mine. Well, i tell you what. Let's just say we want to find something else. Oh, man, this Joe Cassie Gorges area right here, wildlife area. Let's zoom in. Is there a way to get down there to that lake? Yeah. Looks like there is. Man, look at that. That takes you all the way to the lake, Lake Joe Cassie. I want to go right there to that point right there and see what that's about. Let's click save. Let's name that uh, Trail to Joe Cassie. I don't know that I spelled that right, but that's okay. All right, so it's saved that waypoint, and it's like... Now, if you get lost on the map and you're like, where in the world am I? and you want to go back to where you're at, you go up here to this little target that we talked about earlier and click it, and it'll take you right back to where you are. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to get to that cool area. We're going to click, long click where we are now. Whoops, sorry about that. I don't know what, exactly what I did just now. Let's back up. All right, let's long click near where we are, and let's do near where this is, and it's going to make us a route. Now, isn't that cool? It's 17 miles from me now, and or 26 miles, I'm sorry. It's going to show you elevation down here at the bottom. That's just really neat. Now, if we want to say, is that the really the way I want to go, or do I want to go a different way? So I actually didn't get this that close. Let's drag it back down here now that we're zoomed in. And it will take, it's that easy. It's like, okay, oh, man, I'd really rather go to this northern point. Drag it over there, bam, it'll get you there. All there is to it. It's just that cool. 
Whoops. So, um, but let's go back down here and do it like we talked about. Okay, and we're gonna we can look along this route and see if that's the way we'd like to go. If it's not, we can we can drag it and move it over. But Gaia picks the the really good routes. If you'd rather go a different route, you can always just move it. You know, pick, pull it over and move it. Whatever you want to do, it's no big deal. It's uh, it's just it's it's that easy, guys. And once you get that route to that area, all you can do is click Save, Hi, Edit Route Name, Route to Joe Cassie, Next, Save. And it's going to be there from now on, always in your phone. And if you want to send it to your buddy, you can send it to your buddy. Now, let's just say I don't really like that color. Why is it that color? I don't like colors terrible. Click down here at the bottom right called where it says saved at this little folder icon. Click there. Let's find that. What do we call it? Route to Jocassi. Oh, also, do you see this little eyeball right here? Then you can click that and 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 put the slash mark through it by clicking it and that'll take it off the map so you don't have to if it gets too crowded that's how you turn the routes on and off now if you hate that color just click there select whatever color you'd like for it to be let's uh, pick that color and full disclosure I'm completely colorblind so you guys can tell me what color that is I'm gonna guess and say purple all right so we can back up here and there we go. We're back. There's our route. Let's do it one more time like I was telling you about. Okay, I want to get show my buddy. Hey, man, I'm going to camp down here on this lake tonight. And he lives right down the road from me. He's like, dude, I have no idea how to get to where you are. Click the line. Hit the I. Hit share. Send it to anybody you want to, any way you'd like. i like I said, I usually contact him, or you can copy it here, and it's on your keyboard or your, uh, you know, your yep key clipboard, and you can send it any way you'd like. All right, so that's how it is. That's there. It'll always be there until you get rid of it, and it's that easy, guys. That's exactly the best way to navigate to me on Gaia that there is. Okay, so let's talk about some of these. Um, extra buttons on here so you'll know and then we'll we'll uh we won't try to make this too much too much longer i just wanted to get sort of a this is going to be considered a novice video and i'm going to be the novice <laughs> i'm telling you there's a lot to learn on this but hopefully with this video i've already done a lot of digging around and this will be the gist of what you guys need to know all right so let's click up here where it says speed you can select anything you would like if you want any of this stuff here. I want to know what time sunrise and sunset. Bam. Just leave it there. Click back off of it, and it'll always be there. Same goes for here. You want to know, uh, you can put the record button there if you'd like, and then you can hit that record button when you get started. And then you just touch it anywhere near there, and it'll bring that back up for you. I like to run elevation on this side, I think, and speed on this side, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. And um, that's just how I prefer to have it set up. Okay. Well, what? A, hey, Chris, what about these zoom things you got down here in the bottom right? All right. So that's, that's personal preference. Again, I wear these special gloves that have the electronic tips on them so I can pinch and zoom. And, you know, sometimes it's tough to do. And I put these zoom buttons here. And their total preference, you can get rid of them. This this actual thing that reads out zoom. By the way, if I navigate, I like to have it on 500 foot. Because if you put it on 500 feet, it usually shows up the road name. All right. So, uh, in full disclosure, I'm at work. If you want to find out where I live, that's not going to work. <laughs> All right. So, let's go here to the bottom right corner and click settings. And let's go to appearance. Dark mode, yeah or nay, um, that's that's how you can change that. Let's click on map controls, and here's how we're going to turn off that compass that's at the top, the stat bar, 
true north compass i really love to run and there's the zoom button you can click it on or off however you want to do it i just prefer it because and then there's that zoom label we talked about you can set this up literally any any way you want you can move the active track width and make it wider or narrower whatever you want to do and uh and there's the long press action to create the route um let's go back to settings again and go to performance. Here's something that I've found accidentally that's really important. It used to cut off on me all the time going down the trail. And I'll give Cody props for this. He figured this out. Keep screen on. It's what you want to select. It's going to work more like the GPS in your car. Uh, you'll have to maybe put you a port on your phone. So I mean on your bike so you can keep battery charged up. Because it does eat battery pretty good. Not terribly, but fairly good. And that way... You can always have the screen on and you don't never have to worry about that. So guys, we're about 20 minutes in on this video. And uh, there's a ton more that I could show you guys on here. But hopefully this maybe will be enough for you guys to at least decide that you'd like to use Gaia or prefer to buy a GPS. I really like it. I'm telling you, I can find a needle in a haystack with it. It's It's been one of the best things I've ever done. I actually bought the paid version. I really like it. Um, and as I said, if you'll download the route, so let's say you want to um, go to this point right here. Click on it. Click info. If you, cl if you click... Um, well, I was going to say you could download, but that might not be exactly how to do it. I think as you're building the route, it's going to ask you download map a, a long route. And uh, if you do that, then you are then you can literally get back there with no service whatsoever. So that's what's pretty cool about Gaia. Your phone, as long as it's powered up and it can be on airplane mode, it's going to guide you. The GPS inside the phone continues to work. So don't forget... A couple of things, the search bar, put in what you'd like. Um, don't forget the most important, like I said, is to click and show those those um, hourglass signs. is going to be the, the simply the easiest way to navigate that I've found. Now, I was going to show you guys something really cool that I found out, and then we'll close it out here. Um... I found this little route, and I may have erased it. Let's go here uh, to saved. What did I call that route? I think it was called Forest Service. I may have completely gotten rid of that. Anyway, I was going to show you guys. There's this thing that I found on here the other day that was really cool it was actually on a youtube video that i found um it's, it must be disappeared i must have erased it accidentally anyway there's a place i saw this fella riding around in virginia and he called the name of the road and i found it and it was super cool and i just wanted to show you guys that uh you could save a route and um and 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 change the waypoint i actually found a little jeep waypoint that was pretty cool uh, and like i said i'm kind of a rookie at it and i totally forget what i was where i was when i was doing that but it was up here in virginia right off of the parkway i wished i could find it and show you guys let's see let's try one more time um tracks maybe it was called forest service I'm pretty sure maybe it was here. Nope. Oh well, I don't want to bore you guys to slap to death, but um I was gonna show you how you could kind of customize that one little area, but maybe we'll save that for another we'll save that for another time. I could go on and on and on about it all night, I guess. But uh anyway guys I hope that helps you guys, and drop your comments down below. We'll do another video. This I just wanted this to be like a, a Gaia 101 for you guys, and, uh, you know, the basics of it. I'm telling you, there's really no reason to buy a 
high dollar GPS. If you've got a decent phone that you can get a waterproof case for and you can run a power cord to it, you can absolutely do anything with this. Uh, just for let's let, like, let's go out west here. I want to show you guys something. You know, I'm a, I'm, I really love watching uh, TVR Explorer on YouTube about finding gold mines. I mean, there is so many mines in the West. And I would never, ever have been able to find any of these without Gaia. I mean, check, I mean, any gold mine that you could possibly dream of is right here. Tells you anything you want to know about it. A gold placer mine. It tells you who owns it. Can you go to it? Is it in Forest Service? So anyway, that I'm telling that it's endless. It's going to tell you who owns property. It's going to tell you, is it going to rain? It's just really cool. So 25 minutes in, guys. I hope this super uh, really helps you guys on Gaia. And um, please, like I said, feel free to drop comments below. If I can, uh, any questions that you've got, think about subbing to the channel. And uh, again, we really appreciate, uh, we're up around 1,300 subs now. And, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And uh, we'll see you again on the next one, guys. So please let me know if, uh, if this is what you want to, if you want to see any more content on Gaia. All right. Have a good one, guys. Appreciate it again.